I saw uh, one of these guys out on the corner panhandling change, and I just bought groceries, and it was pretty hot out in the sun. Uh, he was sitting there, you know, on Shaw and Palm. You traffic going by on both sides. I forget if he was in a wheelchair. I think he was. And, uh, you know, what a terrible place to be sitting, you know, with cars going by 60 miles an hour, and it's 100 and something degrees out, breathing all that dust and pollution. And, you know, not a very safe place to be sitting. I said, you look hot, man. I reached in my grocery bag and I gave him one of the drinks I bought, right? But So there's always a chance for us to make a difference. But this is kind of one of the cool things about connectivity these days because we're connected in ways that we used to not be connected. And we have access to a lot more information. And that information can open our eyes to making the world a better place. And we can make the world a better place in many different ways. So we could really pursue our own heart's passion and pursue the purpose of, you know, the thing that we love. So whether that's playing guitar, we could go to that website to learn how to become Jimi Hendrix and then really make a difference in the world like Sarah McLaughlin or like, uh, you know, Peter Buffett with Akon, whoever that is in this video, Akon. <laughs> Blood into gold, right? You know, like, you know, you could become a guitarist, you could become Jimi Hendrix by, you know, pursuing your passion and having access to all this information and doing things that, you know, you maybe wouldn't be, have been able to do 20 years ago because now it's only $13 a month at that guitar website to take all the video lessons you want on demand, right? 13 bucks a month. Dang, you know, anybody can afford that. That's a little less than two hours of minimum wage, you know? And so you're becoming Jimi Hendrix and following your heart's passion and making a difference in the world by making music videos. Or you're that kid in Australia in the Outback who's just really into physics and so that kid's going to like go crazy about physics and then take his passion and make a difference in the world, a positive difference in the world. Or all this access to information opens our own eyes and our own awareness and our own hearts to all the suffering that's out there in the world, you know, and makes, you know, instills in us a desire to want to make a difference, you know, and it also gives us a sense of, uh, of gratitude and appreciation for what we already have so that we make the most of our time. And all of that just from connectivity. Right? And I'm able to grab all this and share it with you because of this connectivity, because of technology, because of this information revolution, which did not exist, you know, 30 years ago, 20 years ago, when I went to college, 20 years ago when I went to college, 1989, January 1990, yeah, I'm old school, you'll be here too someday if you're lucky, right, if you live well, take care of your health, stay out of harm's way, God smiles, graces your life. You'll make it to 38, too. <laughs> but, uh, you know, um, that wasn't here when I went to college. All this stuff wasn't here. So really, you know, I'm kind of opening your eyes to a couple of different things, right?